Hold still, Puffy. Yow! Up for a little table tennis, Peso. Not now, Quasi. I'm helping this little porcupine puffer with a sore spike. But it's going to be all better soon. All better? Really? Give a wiggle and see. You, one eye's looking this way and the other's looking that way. A porcupine puffer's eyes can look in two different directions at the same time. Careful not to startle Puffy here, or else he'll... Yeah! Yeah! <clears throat> Hello, Captain. I, I was just, uh, practising me sword fighting. Ah, with a table tennis bat. <laughs> Quasi was just startled when Puffy puffed up. I do this when I'm scared to stay safe. And with these spikes, a bigger fish would have a hard time eating me. And it's a good thing, too. Porcupine puffers are really poisonous. It's okay, Puffy. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, my spike is starting to feel better. Thanks, Peso. Off you go then, Puffy. Bye bye. Bye. There he goes. Good work, Peso. Another happy patient. Quasi, what's that big grey thing swimming towards Puffy? Oh, uh, that's just um. Whale shark! Puffy, look out! With at least one of those crazy eyes of yours! Yeah! Oh no! Peso, sound the Octo Alert! Octonauts to the HQ! Octonauts, this mission is a double rescue. We've got to save a porcupine puffer and the whale shark who's just swallowed him. Porcupine puffers are small, but they're one of the most poisonous creatures in the ocean. If the puffer gets into the whale shark's stomach, he'll be turned into food. And his poison will spread and make the whale shark very sick. We've got to get him out and fast. For both their sakes. Peso, Quasi, to the launch bay. <laughs> Rope? Check. Fish pack? Check. Uh, what does this do? It's a fish pack. You just pull that cord and you got yourself a portable fish tank. So the puffer is safe in the water and you're safe from his prickly spines. Good thinking, Tweak. Octonauts, let's do this. Quasi. You swim into the whale shark's mouth. Grab Puffy, put him into the fish pack. Then I'll give you the signal. And we'll pull you out by the rope. Aye, sounds easy enough to me. There he is. And he's going after those tiny krill. Strap on the fish pack, Quasi. Quasi? Yow! Peso, you drive. I'm coming oh. for you, Puffy! Oh. Yeah. Ouch! Easy does it. I'll just put you in this... fish pack. Here it comes, Quasi. Thanks, Kevin! Whoa! Follow yeah. that whale shark, Peso! Turbo booster, or we'll lose them. That nervous puffer's gonna poke the whale shark's mouth. No! I meant hello! <laughs> it's Uncle Quasi here to help you get all comfy and cozy. You got plenty of water to splash around in, right? There's nothing to worry about. We're having a really fun time here. We are? Yeah, because Uncle Quasi's gonna do a funny dance for you. It's called a Try to Open the Jaws <laughs> with all your might. Search the kills for a way out. Dash back to the jaws to try again, but slip and slide on this slippery time and <laughs> This is fun. Now what? Now it's story time. Uh, 
Once upon a time, Uncle Quasi and a cute little puffer fish were waiting to be rescued by Uncle Barnacles and Uncle Peso, <laughs> who were taking forever. It's time for Plan B. When the whale shark opens his mouth, I'll swim in, put Puffy in the pack, and give you the signal. Cool. Then I'll throw the rope and pull everyone out. Ready? Ready, Captain. Three, two, one, jump! Yeah. You can do it, Peso. <sighs> Look, it's Uncle Peso. Stay calm, Puffy. We're just going to... Whoa, whoa! <laughs> Captain, use your polar bear strength. Uh, I'm trying, but he's using his whale shark sucking strength. Whoa! And it's Uncle Barnacles. If we go through that sponge wall, we'll end up in the stomach. Grab onto the gills. Sounds like the whale shark's about to open up for lunch. Now's our chance. <laughs> Uncle Quasi's getting you out of here. Ouch! Yow! Captain, a rope! Yow! Puffy! I saw! He's going through the sponge wall! That must have really hurt. We can't let him reach the stomach. Phew! Hold on, Puffy! We have to get him back into water fast. The whale shark doesn't like Puffy's sharp spike digging into him. I can't quite reach his tail. You can if you hold on to me. Gotcha! Oh! <laughs> 
Uncle Quasi. Now remember to watch out for really big fish. Or keep an eye and an eye out for them. <laughs> <laughs> Done. Fit as a fiddlefish. Here's your last patient, Peso. And how are you today? Crabby. Because, well, I'm a crab and my shell hurts. Hmm. Sorry to hear that. Let's take a look. Now, don't be nervous. This X ray viewer just lets me see inside your shell. Aha. Uh -huh. You've got a small stone in there, Captain. May I? <laughs> oh. oh, that's better. <laughs> Thanks, Captain. <laughs> What's that? <laughs> a young sperm whale, and he looks like he needs help. Hello. Are you all right? My name is... Oh, hello. Don't hurt me. Don't be scared. I'm here to help. Oh, get, get, get away. But I... Show your teeth and do your worst. We're not afraid of a little whale like you. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Sperm whales, we are not here to fight. We are the Octonauts. <laughs> Captain, it looks like we're outnumbered. Maybe not. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts were surrounded by a pod of angry sperm whales. <sighs> We've got to work out why and fast. Shellington, take a look. Jumping jellyfish. They're humongous beasts with humongous teeth. Sperm whales don't bite or use their teeth to eat. They sometimes show them to protect their young, but only when they think they're in danger. Oh, 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 orker! Captain, young sperm whales are afraid of orcas. I don't see any orca. Hmm. Neither do I. But I wonder if... Peso? Me? <laughs> Him? Dashie, send me a picture of a... Orca? Already on it, Captain. Sperm whales, there's been a misunderstanding. Peso is not an orca. He's a penguin. You thought he was an orca? <laughs> oh! He is black and white like an orca. But he's tiny. We never had a chance for a proper hello. We are the Octonauts. I hope you're not still scared. Probably. Scaredy Simon is scared of everything. <laughs> <laughs> Will you dive down with us this time, Simon? Oh, no. Oh. They're right. I'm scared of everything, especially diving. What's so important about diving? All sperm whales dive deep down in the ocean to find food. Except him. <laughs> oh, I'll never learn to dive. I keep thinking I can do it, but I can't. It's too deep. Ah, oh, it's deep and dark and scary. But that's what makes it an adventure, me hottie! Ooh. Did I say something wrong? You know, I happen to know someone who's a champion diver. You do? Who? Hey, so. Penguins have to learn to dive too. But when I was little, I was scared to dive, just like you. Oh, you really think you could teach me? I don't see why not, unless you still think I'm an orca. <laughs> no. This shouldn't take long, Captain. <laughs> see, it's not 
not so bad. Just a little deeper and we'll find the rest of your pod. I can do it. I can do it. I oh, can't do it. Let's try it backwards. It's not so scary this way, is it? I can do it. I can do it. I can't do it! This may take a little longer than I thought. Hmm. Quasi and I'll head back to the octopod. Radio us when you need a lift home. Good luck, matey. Simon, I've just remembered something. When I was learning to dive, there was a little trick that helped me not be afraid. Oh, what was it? Right before the dive, I would take a deep breath and then close my eyes tight. <sighs> you see, you can do it. Yes, I can do it. I can do it. I... <gasps> Excuse me, Mr. Clam. Would you mind opening your mouth? I can do it. I can do it. Oh, who am I fooling? Oh. Yeah. Help! Hey, so a giant clam fell to the bottom of the sea. <gasps> Simon, will you dive down to help us? I... I'm sorry. I want to help Peso, but I just can't do it. It's all right. We'll find him. <gasps> Peso's medical bag. Look, the clam. Uh, Quasi, I think you mean clowns. Shiver me whiskers! We'll have to search shell by shell. Peso? 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 Ah! Whoa! Try the X-ray viewer. Clam. Clam. Another clam. <laughs> I can do it. I can do it. I can do it. This day is for peso. Clam, clam, peso, clam, clam, peso. Quasi. Are you all right, peso? Well, it's getting a bit cozy. Look out! We've got to get out of here before we're all clam sandwiches. It's too heavy. We need a... Whale! What? Simon! Whoa! I did it! I did it! I dived! I knew you could do it! Yeah, that's great, but we've still got to save... Peso! Hey, look, it's Simon. Out of my way! I've got you, Peso! <laughs> but how do we get it open? Hmm. Don't worry. We've dealt with giant clams before. Ready, Quasi? Aye, Captain. <laughs> Ready. Ready, Peso? Ready. All right. When I give the command, tickle, pull, leap. Tickle. <laughs> That's it. Now, pull. <laughs> <laughs> leap. <Yeah>. Phew. Hooray! <laughs> Good job, everyone. Especially you, Simon. Thanks for helping to save me. No problem. Hey, who wants to go back down? We should put the giant clam back where we found him. Oh, I can do it. <laughs> Come on, everyone. Follow me. Hey, wait for me. He 
can do it. He can do it. He did it. <laughs> Just a little further up, and we can dig for the secret treasure of Whitebeard the Pirate. I wonder what Whitebeard's treasure could be. No one knows, Captain. But Whitebeard was a fearsome pirate. I've heard that he could throw one of his legendary flying snowballs from the Arctic all the way to the tropics. Calico Jack once told me that a snowball from Whitebeard landed right on the deck of his ship and he never melted. Remarkable. Here, Captain. This be the spot. Uh, ah! something. Why, there it be! Whitebeard's treasure! <laughs> now all we need is the key for that lock. Let me just find the right one. Bluebeard's treasure, Redbeard's treasure... Ah, here it is. Oh, your paws are so cold I can barely feel them. Whoa! My key! Whoa! <laughs> Shiver me whiskers. Captain, a hungry sardine just gobbled up me key. That could make the sardine very sick. We've got to find her. Let's split up to cover more ground. Aye, right, Captain. I'm fine, Captain, but I just took a whale of a ride. What was the meaning of those bubbles you were blowing at me? Well, I can't help it if you crashed into my bubble net. Humpback whales like me make bubble nets so that we can catch a lot of food at once. We're sorry to disturb you, but uh, we're chasing after a school of sardines. Maybe you saw which way they went. No, but I'll keep an eye out. If I see them, I'll send you a signal. That's how us humpback whales communicate. Just listen for this. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Got it? Got, got it. it. Whoa, there's some krill. Yummy. Hey, gotta go. And the name's Mitch. That little sardine is going to get a big tummy ache if we don't find her soon. Hi, Captain. Octonauts to the HQ. <laughs> to track down a sardine who swallowed Quasi's key. Oh, no. That could make the sardine sick. I found a school of sardines in the area, Captain. Great work, Dashie. But how will we know which sardine has swallowed the key? Tweak? This x-ray viewer should do the job. Tunip, let's show him. Hide that hammer behind your back. Tuba, tuba! Very good. We'll need more than one of these X-ray viewers to find a little key in a little sardine in a great big ocean. I'm on it, Cap. Peso, meet us out here in the Gup E. Once we find the right sardine, we'll need you to perform an emergency keyectomy. On my way, Captain. Quasi, Peso, activate X-ray viewers. Aye, 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 aye Captain. Captain. The sardines. Let's go. And now move in closer so we can look for Quasi's key. They're splitting off. You two follow that group, I'll follow the other. Aye, aye, Cap. We have to hurry. That sardine needs our help. Ow! So, 
Quasi, none of my sardines has the key, which means that one of yours does. Quasi and I are still chasing them, Captain. Quasi, are you? Quasi? Quasi to Captain Barnacles, do you read me? Peso, are you there? I've got to get me gut back in the water fast. Hold on, there's that humpback whale. Ahoy, Mitch! Can you hear me? Oh, maybe if I send that signal. Oh, oh, oh. Whoa, sounds like somebody needs help. Whoa, you really do need to watch where you're going. Yeah, yeah, but right now, I need to get my cup off this iceberg. Okay, I'll tip the iceberg over for you. Ugh, too big for me to tip over by myself. Yeah. But it won't be too big for me and a couple of friends. I'll send out a signal. Yo, Mitch. You called? Hey, guys. I need some help tipping over this iceberg. Let's do it. Always enjoy a little iceberg tipping. Hold on up there. Ready, guys? One. A little more. Two. A little more. Sardines. We'll come along just in case you will run into any more trouble. This guy has a habit of crashing into stuff. No, now we've lost Quasi and the sardines. I'm right behind you, mateys, and I brought some friends. <laughs> nice to have you back. Captain, sardines, they're right under us. Everyone, follow me. And there's the sardine who swallowed me key. I see her too, but we need to keep her in one place so I can remove the key. Hey, Mitch, could you and your mates blow a humongous bubble net to keep the sardines from getting away? Of course. Come on, fellas, bubble net. <laughs> some of these bubbles, then let out a nice big burp, like this. Uh. Oh, pardon me. <gasps> uh. It worked! Mickey! Sorry I gave you a tummy ache. I feel much better. Thanks. Thank you, humpback whales. No problem. Always enjoy making a bubble net. We'll just be on our way now, but, uh, will you look after him? He, he has a habit of, uh... Crashing into things? <laughs> yes, I know. Yo, oh. Well, Captain, now that I've got me key back... We finally get to see what's inside Whitebeard's treasure chest. <gasps> Tis the legendary flying snowballs of Whitebeard. <laughs> and look... It's a note from Whitebeard himself. It says, whoever finds this treasure is worthy to use it. Octonauts, let's do this. Ah. Ah. 
Vegemals. Captain, there's outside. I saw a. <gasps> What's all the commotion about? There's something out there. Something big. Really big. I saw it. It's huge. It's white. And it made a noise like. Whoa. Captain, look at this. I managed to snap a picture of whatever's out there. That's it. That's what I saw. What on earth could it be? It's as big as a whale, but whales are usually dark greyish. Hi, me hearties. <gasps> That's no ordinary whale. That there be a ghost whale. Ghost whale? Aye, it's a crafty beast, as pale and cold as the moonlight. It rises from the depths at night and plays tricks on passing ships. Whatever it is, it sounds sad. It may be hurt. Or need our help. We're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Quasi, sound the octo alert. Yow! Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonauts, we're going to find this so-called ghost whale. Tweak. If there's something out there, these will help you find it in the dark. Whoa! One peek through these ghost goggles, and you'll be able to see the heat coming from its body. Ghost goggles? Shiver me whiskers. Ready, Peso? Let's go. Tweak, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That scallywag must be around here somewhere. This way. A vast. Strange heat patterns are coming from that pink-coloured reef. Whatever we're looking for, it should be right here. Then we'd better take a look. Octonauts, let's investigate. <gasps> ah! Oh! <sighs> There's something very strange about this reef. Captain, look at this. It's white underneath. Hmm. Let me try that. <laughs> <gasps> this is no reef. <laughs> Some kind of trick. Come here, you. Steady on, Quasi. We still don't know what we're dealing with here. It's coming back. <laughs> what? Haven't you ever seen a whale with a sunburn before? This may be another ghost trick. Or this may not be a ghost at all. Ghost? Who are you calling a ghost? I'm a humpback whale. I just happen to be completely white. Nice try, but you're pink. I've got sunburn on my back and it doesn't feel very good to have you lot climbing all over it. Ouch, that must really hurt. Ah, oh, well, it's my own fault. Yesterday I spent too much time near the surface and got this nasty burn from the sun. With a burn like that, you should stay down here at the bottom, out of the sun. I'd like to, but uh, I can't hold my breath forever. I have to go up for air every 15 minutes. The sun will be coming up again soon. Unless we do something, your sunburn will get even worse. I know just the solution, Captain. A hundred cc's of super soothing beluga strength underwater sun cream. Ha-ha! <laughs> <laughs> 
Uh, peso? Phew. Yes, Captain. I think we're going to need more sun cream. A lot more. But that was my last bottle. Let's see. It's made from water, sea slime, mushroom coral mucus... Mushroom coral! That's it! What's he going on about? Once, in me pirate days, I found myself washed up on a desert island. The only thing that protected me from the scorching sun was a mushroom coral. It grows in the shallows and makes its own oily, oozy sun cream. That sounds disgusting. It sounds perfect. Let's go! Hold on, Quasi. There's not enough time to find the mushroom coral and bring it back here before the sun comes up. He'll have to come with us. I'm sorry, mate, but I'm not fit for swimming that far. This sunburn really hurts. If we can't bring the coral to the whale, we'll bring the whale to the coral. How are we going to move a whale? Come in, Tweak. We're going to need some gup backup here. You got it, Cap. Which gup do you need? All of them. Octonauts, let's pick up the pace. We've got to get this whale to the coral before sunrise. Hang on, big guy. We're almost there. We should find some mushroom corals in the shallow water up ahead. Truly amazing. An albino humpback whale. Albino? Every now and then, a whale will be born that's completely white. An albino? It's a very rare sight indeed. Listen, mate, I can't stay under forever. How about taking me up for some air? Captain, the whale needs to take a breath. Got it. Quasi, you copy? I copy, Captain. Watch that fin. Tweak, are you there? Right here, Cap. We've got to bring our friend here up for air. Get ready to surface. Octonauts, let's do this. We have to hurry. The sun will be coming up any minute now. Ahoy! Mushroom coral! Straight ahead! Uh-oh! Looks like we've got company. A school of squid! We'll go around them! At this speed, we can't turn fast enough to go around them! What should we do, Captain? An emergency drop. I don't think I like the sound of this. Those coral are our target. On the count of three. One. Two. Three! Nice driving back there. Excellent work, Octonauts. But we've still got a lot more work to do. We're not hurting the coral, are we? Mushroom corals are tough and aren't attached to anything. They don't mind being moved around a bit. Just a bit more. And finished. Huh, a coral that makes sun cream. I never knew there was such a thing. Oh, I never knew there was such a thing as a white and pink whale. <laughs> Thanks. Oh, I think I feel it's working already. Uh, good on you, mates. Just be careful not to spend too much time in the sun. Let's take a photo. Wait. <laughs> Oi! <laughs> Watch the sunburn, mate. Oops. <laughs> Perfect. These pictures coming in from Dashie. Ooh, where is she, Captain? She's exploring a strange underwater cave. Ooh, there's some amazing stuff in here. Let's run these pictures through the computer to get a good look at the whole cave. Uh, it looks like there's squid and some tropical seaweed. The cave floor's red. And wiggly. 
Those little rocks hanging down look kind of familiar. That's because their teeth and the floor is a tongue. How can a cave have teeth and a tongue? Because it's not a cave, Peso. It's a, a whale, whale shark. shark. Dashi! Can you hear me? Loud and clear, sort of. You're not in a cave. You're in a whale shark. Get out, now. Uh-oh, closing time. My camera. Dashi, can you hear me? I'm all right, Captain. I'm... The signal can't reach her now that the mouth is shut. She's trapped inside a whale shark. <laughs> we need to get her out. Peso, sound the octo alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. Octonaut, this is a whale shark. No, Tunip, a whale shark isn't a whale. It's the biggest fish in the sea. As big as a school bus. It's so big that Dashi thought its mouth was a cave, and now she's disappeared inside it. How dare that dastardly beast swallow our mate! I'm certain he didn't do it on purpose, Quasi. The whale shark is a filter feeder. A filter feeder doesn't use his teeth for biting. He just opens his mouth and swallows whatever's there. And this whale shark swallowed Dashi. <sighs> we have to get her out. Then you'll need to take this whale shark detector. It flashes when a whale shark's near. Quasi, Peso, into the gut. Week, open the octa hatch. Got it, Cap. That's strange. According to the map, the whale shark was right here, but I don't see him anywhere. Probably planning a sneak attack. The whale shark detector hasn't flashed once. We'd better get out and take a look around. Peso, you stay here and keep a lookout. Righto. Quasi, when we find the whale shark, here's our plan. We'll need to open its mouth to slip in and get dashy. But first, I'll confuse the beast by leaping all around like a heap of spaghetti. Meanwhile, I'll slither through your spaghetti. Captain Quasi! <gasps> Captain, behind you! It's the... <laughs> whale shark! You never got to leap around like spaghetti, did you? No, I got sucked in like a wet noodle. Dashy! Dashy! Let's look for her by going that way along the tongue. Charge! <laughs> oh! The tongue is kind of ticklish. We better step lightly. Tiptoe. This looks like where we came in. So let's go back the other way. Slide. <laughs> These things keep you from falling onto your bum, eh, Captain? They're gills. The whale shark uses them to let water back out while keeping food in. You think Dashy could have gone out through the gills? Nope. She's too big. This wall feels all spongy-like. The sponge wall is another way the whale shark can let water out while keeping big stuff in. Looks like it kept Dashy's hair clipping. But Dashy must have squeezed her way through. She's on the other side. There's no time to lose. Let's suck in our bellies <gasps> and squeeze. <laughs> Quasi, Captain, can anybody hear me? <laughs> I guess not. <gasps> Don't roar 
roar at me? That's not a roar. That's a moan. You must be sick. When a sea creature's sick, I'm there. Even if he is as big as a school bus. Everything looks fine in the ear. Nose looks good too. Now I'll check your tummy. His tummy hurts. Poor whale shark. My friends must be in there. That must not feel too good. You usually only eat small things. I've worked out your problem, whale shark. You don't have measles or chicken pox. You have octonauts. <laughs> We seem to have landed somewhere. Is that you making that clicking sound? I thought it was you making the clicking sound. Well, if it's not you and it's not me, then who or what is making the clicking sound? Wow! Yeah! Hey guys, it's great to see you. Um, Dashie, we've found you. And you seem to be all right. I'm having the most incredible time taking what just might be the first photos ever taken inside a whale shark's stomach. I hate to interrupt your photo shoot, but if this is the whale shark's stomach, we need to get out now before we sink any further. Octonauts, let's get up and out. Totem pole. <laughs> <laughs> We've made it, all the way back to the mouth. The beast's mighty jaws are shut tight. Activate helmets. Stand back. Oh. Your arms are powerful, Captain, but my legs are poetry in motion. Stand aside. Cat coming through. This might take all of us working together. Say, ah. Uh... Mm. Why won't you open your mouth? Mm -mm. You're a filter feeder. That's what you do. Whale shark. Tummy ache. If you tickle a whale shark's gills, he opens his mouth. If we all charge and push together, we can do this. Ready? Ready! Goochie, goochie, goo! On your marks. A goochie, 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 goo! Get set! Goochie, goo! Go! Hey, so! I got the whale shark to say, ah. You freed us! And you're the whale shark's tummy ache? Ah, cute little beast. Ooh, not so little. I can't decide which of these photos I took to send into National Geographic. They're all amazing. You must send each and every one. Actually, not all of them. Ooh, you might want to skip a few. <laughs> oh, Captain, could you practice somewhere? Yeah. Was he? Sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts to the HQ. Octonauts, we need to. Yeah! Ooh, 
fascinating. That's a type of whale called an orca. Look, there's another. And another. And another. Remarkable. We've attracted an entire pod. What's a pod, Professor? It's a group of orcas, Peso. The pod helps each other through thick and thin, rather like the octonauts. Yow! Captain, we've got to bump him back! Let's talk before we bump, Quasi. <clears throat> Greetings, orca friends. Please, do not bump our ship. <laughs> That's enough. Everyone back. I'm terribly sorry. Is your ship all right? Yes, thank you. Is his head all right? Oh, that one's hard-headed. He bumps first and asks questions later. Very brave, though. Hmm, sounds like someone I know. We're curious about your ship. We heard it make an interesting sound. Oh, you mean the Octo Alert? No, more like this. Oh, um, that, that was me. I was having trouble on my accordion. We thought it sounded quite lovely. Oh, thank you. Octonauts, who wants to go out and meet our new friends? Want to race? Ah! Oh. Okay! <laughs> hey! You didn't say go! They're heading straight for the beach! Oh my, that's not a good place for an orca. Maybe I can stop him before he gets there. You can have a head start next time, but I'll still win. <laughs> uh, uh, just let me get turned around here. Uh, give me a push, will you? Aye. Uh, yow! <laughs> Quasi, are you all right? Aye, Captain, but I can't get the orca to budge. Oh, I don't feel very well. Is it just me or is it getting really hot? Quasi, there's a bucket in the gup. Will you grab it and pour some water over the orca? He needs water to stay healthy. Aye, aye, Captain. If I could just... <laughs> oh. oh, no, I'm stuck. And I can't stay out of the water for long. Don't worry. On my honour as an octonaut, I promise that we will get you off this beach. In the meantime, Quasi will keep you cool. Oh, thanks. Octonauts, the orca is stuck on the beach. Our mission is to get him back into the water. Until then, we must keep our whale friend cool and wet. I'm on my way, Captain. Tunip, if you don't mind, I could use some help from the Vegimals. <laughs> the orca is too heavy to move himself when he's on land. If the orca can't move himself, we'll have to move the orca. Tweak, we need you here as soon as possible. Right away, Cap. Hey, I hear my pod calling to me. Oh no, all of the orcas are heading straight for the beach. Quasi, keep pouring. I'll be right back. Stop! Please.
Please let us pass. We must go after our cousin. If you go too close to the beach, you'll get stuck as well. We're his pod. Members of a pod always do what they can to help each other. You can count on the Octonauts to bring him back to the pod safe and sound. But there must be something we can do to help. Well, I know it cheers him to hear your voices. Maybe you could sing to him. All right, Captain. We shall sing to him. The orca is too heavy to move when he's out of the water. We've got to figure out a way to pull him back out into the ocean where he belongs. We're gonna need rope. Lots and lots of rope. I'll contact the octopod and ask them to bring all the rope we've got. There's no time to lose. Ouch! Now, you listen here. <laughs> you don't have to hide. No one will hurt you. This beach belongs to us crabs. You and that giant thing must go, go, go! It's getting hotter and hotter. Octonauts, grab the ropes. Hmm. Ready to test, Cap. Octonauts, take your positions. On my signal. One, two, three, pull! Ow! Stop, stop! Oh, that really hurts. Captain, I don't think it's enough to pull him. Now, if we could get the ropes under him, we could lift him up. Hmm. We need a way to tunnel under the sand with the ropes. I think I know who can help us. Attention, crabs! You crabs have a special ability to tunnel under the sand. Will you use it now to help the orca? No! He got himself into this. He can't get himself out. Ah! Let me help you. There you go. Well, that was uh, really hmm, quite helpful. Thank you. So, are you with us? Okay, sideways, march! Octonauts, let's do this. One, two, three, four! Again, one, two, three, four! <laughs> one, two, three, four! Yeah, it's working! Keep pulling! Captain, our pod is grateful to you and your pod. You can always count on the Octonauts to help. Remember to call on us if we can ever do anything for the Octonauts. Shall we practice our special signal? <laughs> Goodbye, Orca friends. Goodbye, Captain. Until we meet again. Monkey with a tool belt. Quasi, sound the Octo Alert. Octonauts, to the launch bay. And got it. 